just because you kiss a girl and just because you say a girl is pretty, that don't make you gay. Would you spend the rest of your life with a bitch? Hmm? Would you go toe to toe with a bitch? Hmm? You gonna ride till the wheels fall off? Can I have your baby? My first time kissing a girl was in, um, was in elementary school. I was in fifth grade. I was getting my cat ate in the third. No cat. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Good morning, Jay Squad. Plum Squad, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes. Where's a whole lot of great vibes going on? Big period. <laughs> Why is my battery about to die already? Like, I. <laughs> What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad is your girl J. Already know. Welcome back to J Bobs, where there's a whole lot of great bobs going on. Big period. Today is Vlogmas Day 14. Get into my bacon though. Ooh. Ooh. That I drizzle with syrup, put some blackening season on, some parsley, and some thyme. I got a little bit of everything going on. I got some bacon, I got some hot green tea, I got some yogurt, and I got a banana because I'm hungry. So good, but before I get into this food, before I get into today's video, you already know I got to hear on the comments from yesterday's video, Vlogmas Day 13, so let's get into it. First comment that I'm going to read is from Atasia James. She said, I love that you interact with us in the chat even though you are at work. Let me tell y'all something, when my video be premiering 8 times out of 10, I be at work. But it's okay, because I literally have an alarm set for when my video premieres, although I already know. But you know, sometimes time can just slip right by you. And I definitely make sure it's my business to be in a comment section with you guys. So yeah, I'm always there. Um, when I was first getting into Vlogmas and trying to find balance in my schedule and just trying to figure it all out, I had came across this one comment and someone was like, why premiere the video if you're not here? Y'all, I'm not going to always be here, but I feel like the premiere, it's exciting. It's like grab the popcorn, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's a countdown. It's exciting, so I like it. And then they was like, yeah, I'm out of here. Child, if I was in that comment section that day, you would have been on timeout. You would have been on a 300 second timeout fucking with me. I might have just hid you from the whole channel. Go make a new email and come back later with a different attitude. Okay. Second comment is from Debbie. Since I did do my truth or drink video part two yesterday, based off all of your questions except for one, um, I definitely want to read your comment and see what you had to say about your questions and my answers. So you was like, I laughed so hard. I put them in order like that purposely. I wanted you to take shots and answer, but I wanted you to get lit enough to answer certain ones. You might not answer sober. I was trying to be slick, but you caught me. <laughs> So funny. Love the video as always. Can't wait for part three and tomorrow's vlogmas vibes. Big period. I'm definitely going to probably end this whole truth or drink with part three with my special guest. That is a surprise, you guys. And uh I also have another surprise for you guys, but I'm not gonna tell you. I just cannot wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm excited for what's to come in the middle of this week. Who's to come and what's to come? Big period. Last comment is going to be from Beautiful Key. You say Hennessy and apple juice or lemonade. Now I've heard of Hennessy and lemonade, but apple juice? Yeah, I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna go get some apple juice just to try it because I've never had Hennessy and apple juice. I've heard of Hennessy and Red Bull. I've heard of Hennessy and lemonade. Henny and OJ, but I ain't never heard no Hennessy and apple juice. That's the comments from yesterday's video. Now today's video, you guys, I am going to be doing a reaction video. You see the setup. This is from Kiana J's channel. This video is my first experience with a girl, very spicy, and she doing a mukbang. It's only right, it's only right that we hit into videos like this because I heard baby girl is bisexual. And I was looking at one of Rachel Wavy's videos and trying to put two and two together. And I think Rachel Wavy is the first female that she's ever messed with. I could be wrong. I could be right. Let me find out your first experience. Let me see how you talking because sometimes you can tell somebody talking to see if that's really their lifestyle or they just trying to play games. And let me tell you something about these bisexual women, y'all. I'm not attracted to a bisexual woman. Woman. I'm sorry I'm not because you're not about to be playing with my feelings and my heart you're not about to be like oh yeah I like the coochie today and you want the pe 
you want the Peter tomorrow. Granted, some bisexual women, they're faithful to whoever they talking to at, at the moment. I, I haven't met one. I haven't met two or three because I haven't even met one. But let's get into this video. Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel, you guys. Please like this video. Continue to comment down below. Even though you're commenting in the live premiere, make sure you exit the live chat and leave your comment under the actual video so that it can be longevity in there forever and always. Share this video. Let's get into the vibes. I'ma tell y'all what's tea. I'ma tell y'all what's tea. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? What's up, my K-Dolls kids, and welcome back to the Dollhouse. If you're new to Dollhouse, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. That's echoing really loud in my house. Okay, y'all, so as y'all can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a story time slash mukbang for y'all, and I'm going to be telling guys my first experience I love her nails. with a girl because a lot of y'all want to know my first experience. I do not like that wig. It's cute. Mm -hmm. It's where your own hair. Experience with a girl. A lot of you guys are always kind of like, can I talk about your first experience with a girl and this and that? So, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So, what I'm going to be eating is, I don't know if my camera is dark or not. I can't tell. But y'all have some lashes. Food. Something different. I'm tired of eating the same old, same old. So, I'm going to eat something a little bit different. So, with that being said, I have some good old Mexican food. Oh. I have some Mexican taquitos. I forgot where this is from we got the name of the place but the food is extremely good so you i probably have can't pronounce videos. it like me i'm gonna show you guys the video i'm gonna record it on our phone that way you guys get a good old glimpse of this good old food what I a video rice. i love rice the nails girl the nails okay. i got some good old rice that's spilling everywhere. No. And I got some beans, honey. But these are not just any kind of beans. I forgot what the beans are called. Starts with a B. If you are a Latina, Latino. I was going to you know, say refried, but I'm going to go ahead and record this so y'all can see, like, how this food really hit. So as y'all see, I got my Mexican shredded chicken taquitos. That so look good. And I have some Mexican white rice, rice here, and yellow rice. Beans. I don't know what these beans are called, but they are so good. They I look like good. Chips right there some iced tea and some sauces some guac some pico de gallo and yeah got some stuff i got some stuff going on here y'all so that is the food i'm going to be eating let me go ahead and get my drink and y'all know i gotta have my cup of ice on the side so i got me some chick-fil-a ice because let me tell y'all let me tell y'all something let me tell y'all something let me tell y'all something I need some Chick-fil-A ice because my, my refrigerator has not come yet. It was supposed to come on... Uh, uh, no. I can't be in no house with no refrigerator. I can do without, you know, a few lights. Maybe, uh, <clears throat> maybe no countertops. Maybe missing the microwave or washer and dry. But to be in a house with no, with no refrigerator? Take the cabinets, take the windows, take the damn blinds for all I care. But to be in the house with no, I, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I can't do that. The eighth, it is, today is the, it's supposed to come yesterday. Today is the ninth. And um, the reason why I didn't come is because they are doing construction on my street. Bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Bro, okay, there we go. If y'all know, this is a brand new neighborhood. My house is very new. I'm the first person living in this house. So with that being said, they are still building houses on this street. I don't care about none of that. Give me my refrigerator. That's disgusting. I bet it is. This tastes like, tastes like water. Anywho, I'm still gonna sip it because I need something to drink, but that tastes like water. But they're doing construction on my neighborhood. On my neighborhood, I can't talk. They're doing construction in Wago, so they couldn't uh, deliver my refrigerator because they wasn't trying to let the people through, which is so messed up to me. But hey, whatever. So I'm gonna re-deliver it tomorrow. So couldn't get me any ice from my own freezer. I had to use Chick Fil A ice. Let's just get. This is so good. Mmm. First of all, first of all, y'all. Before we get into it, I wanna just taste my food. Girl. It's my bang, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and taste my food. My food is falling everywhere. I want to have a lot of cleaning up to do. It's some nails. Mm. See? Y'all, when y'all get y'all nails that long, do y'all know 
that y'all still supposed to use your fingers. Ain't no feeling in the nail. So you don't know if it's slipping until it slip. Yeah. That's good. That mm -hmm. look good. It does come with some rice, white rice. Um, that's good. I'm gonna definitely use some, some sauce. Yeah, I should make more some like, shrimp food. Mmm. Mmm. This food <laughs> is really hitting the spot. I want to taste my food before I talk because you know how that you just gotta try the food out first. And the food hitting the spot. Hmm. What sauce do I want to use? Green or red? Green. I'm gonna use red. This is getting a little spicy in the video. Are we mm. though? That's definitely real spicy. Let's see. I like spicy food, don't get me wrong. But when it's a little bit too spicy, I can't enjoy my food. I understand that. I don't even taste hot now. You know how I am. A little razzle dazzle. Okay. Now, I've tasted everything. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm not fighting school. I don't care. And that's the old um, sweet tea. Anyway, y'all, let's get to the story time. So my first experience with a girl. Uh, I know y'all want to know how did I get into liking girls. I feel like yeah. I liked girls all my life since I was younger. Oh, I'm not really? going to do that because oh, really? I don't want to be like a bad influence to younger girls out there. <laughs> Telling y'all what I used to do, but. This, let's just say I always like girls, okay? But I want to say I have a few like first experiences with girls, but like my real first, first real experience with a girl, I'll share that in a minute. But I just want to like tell y'all the backstory to how I got into liking girls. But uh, I feel like girls were like my first attraction when I was younger. Oh, really? Um, I always like guys, don't get me wrong, I'm bisexual. But I feel like my first time like being all, y'all know what I'm saying. Being all like that with a girl was when I was younger. Before I was like that with a guy. So I always like, you know, like girls. I always liked bad, let's say, bad women, bad females has always been like my, my thing. They fine. How can you not? Like, I'm not gonna say that because, you know, I have straight women that watch me as well. But let's just say. Make it make sense. Everybody got a little I don't care. Okay. So there'll be a lot of women out there that be like, oh, I'll go gay for her. This and that. Yeah, shorty. Yeah, shorty. Like, and I, I don't understand that. I'll be gay for her or I'll be straight for him. Everybody has a little bit of gay. I don't care. I don't care. I'm saying you go third or second base with a girl. But I'm like, most, if not all, women have kissed a girl before, have thought about kissing a girl, have thought a woman was really pretty, and that. Just because you kiss a girl, and just because you say a girl is pretty, that don't make you gay. Would you spend the rest of your life with a bitch? Hmm? Would you go toe to toe with a bitch? Hmm? You gonna ride till the wheels fall off? Can I have your baby? Now that's extreme, but you just want to have a one night stand or a few night stands or kiss a girl. I feel like if you don't really imagine, if you don't really want, spend the rest of your life with a female, you ain't gay. Who gonna check me? That way, yeah, so, but I've always liked women. Let's go back into that. So like, I remember my first time kissing a girl was, y'all don't judge me, okay? Girl, this is real spicy. Well, I'm grown. My first time kissing a girl was in um was in elementary school. I was in fifth grade. Um, she late. I was getting my cat eight in the third. No cat. Yep. Third grade. I kissed a girl. I remember we was at recess or something after school program and. You know, we were flirting and stuff. I don't know. I just feel like we was just being little girls, you know? We wanted to kiss somebody for the first time. We kissed. My first time kissing a boy was in third grade. My first time kissing a girl was in fifth grade. And I'll tell y'all, we was telling each other down like we knew what we was doing in that bathroom. We ran to the bathroom. But we didn't run to the bathroom. We walked to the bathroom being all sneaky. 
And we kiss. So, and we take them jelly down, honey. Mind you, mind you, this is fifth grade. That just goes to show you I'm being like you girls. You know, so that was like my first time kissing a girl. We was tugging each other down. Now, like, when I tongue kiss somebody, it definitely feels totally different than when I first tongue kiss somebody. Because that kiss in fifth grade Duh. was not it. <laughs> <laughs> you in fifth grade. We were just all over the place with it, y'all. It was a mess. It was really hard trying to tell a story and eat at the same time. Thanks. Without looking like, I don't know, like, eat like a pig. You are. This? It's on your lip. Frustrates me a lot. <laughs> What? I don't know why she even over there playing. I would have had to pause this video, go to the stove, and get me something to drink. And brought back a cooler and some ice. And when my refrigerator came, whoever she paying rent to, I would have gave them the receipts of the cooler and the ice and all the drinks that I had to buy to keep myself thirstified and told them, figure it out. Why does sweet tea taste like that? I right, so I completely forgot where I left off. I had to cut my video off to attend to my mom. So I feel like my food is cold. It is. But we still gonna do this mukbang. Alright, so, so my since I right now, where I left off. I'm gonna learn to jump into my first experience with a girl overall. My first experience with a girl was a few years ago. Um besides Ray, I wanna I wanna include Ray in this video because I feel like Ray was my first real, real, real experience with a girl. But besides Ray, Ray was the um, first, first person to strap you. That's the ago. problem. And how we met was through a friend. We're still friends to this day. Me and the girl are not friends to this day, but me and the other girl are still friends to the day, and she had a cousin. So her cousin was really cute. I forgot how me and her cousin even started talking, to be honest, because it's so many years ago. I forgot how we even got serious, but I do remember the times we were, you know, flirting. This was when I was in a different state or whatever, so she was in California, I was visiting a different state, and... I need to give y'all... Do I want to give y'all my first experience with a girl? I might. Um, me and her was texting all the time, like, all the time. So I'm over here going like this. I remember some mukbang and I'm talking, so it was really hard. Me and her was texting my whole time during the trip. And she was sending me videos and stuff. I'm like, oh my god, like, I really like this girl. Like, it was so weird because I was really taking this girl serious. You know, I had butterflies every time she texted me. We'll fall asleep on the phone. We'll fall asleep on FaceTime. I couldn't wait to go back to California just to see her. Like, when I get back to California, I want to see her. Like, that's the only person I'm worried about right now. That's the only reason why I'm so excited to go back to California. We'll fall asleep on FaceTime and stuff. You know, we're talking. She's seeing videos. Um, also, I know a lot of you guys want to know she was stud or whatever. So, no, she wasn't a stud. I want to say she was, like, a tomboy. Not so much a stem. She was a stem, but not so much stud. She's, like, a 10. Like, I don't know, like, she was very boyish, but girly at the same time. Like, she wasn't a stud. She wasn't, like, Ray or anything, but she wasn't, like, me. Like, girly nails, all that stuff. But she wore girl clothes, but she was a tomboy. But if I her off today or whatever, she would definitely be the most dominant one. I want to say we were kind of, like, sort of dating. I know she asked me to be her girlfriend, but at the same time, it never really felt official, official, if that makes sense. So I was in this thing. Bye, bye, um, I was in bye, bye. Me and her was talking all the time. All that good stuff. And I haven't seen her in person yet. But I was really close to her cousin. You know, cousin, like, everyone like her. You know, all that. Somebody got talking. As soon as I took back down to California, I waited, like, either the next day or the next two days to see her. When I took back down to California, I remember we were on the phone all night. Like, we were on FaceTime, y'all, until the next morning. Like, we fell asleep on the phone. I think, yeah, that day, when we fell asleep on the phone, I got back to California from New York. That's the day she asked me for a girlfriend. I said, yeah. That was that. And we fell asleep on the phone together. Like, it was like, it was so cute. It was nothing but vibes. She asked to be your girlfriend over the phone. Um, yeah, this stuff was so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is a place in Katie, uh, Katie, Texas. This little place. Um, I'm going to tell y'all. I just can't eat ice while I'm eating my food. To eat ice, just eat ice, yeah, but to eat ice while I'm eating my food, no. Oh, and that day, I went to go see her. I remember, woke up, got dressed, you know, and um, put on my clothes, of course. I remember 
feeling like last time you texted me, like, oh, I'm on my way, blah, blah, blah. So I couldn't wait to see her. So, drove to her, and I had just butterflies, like, right on the scene, like, butterflies. But when I got to her, it, it was, like, literally, like, 10 minutes before we were just all over each other. So, after 10 minutes, you know, I was sitting on her bed, being all shy. She was like, why you way over there? You know how niggas do? You know how niggas be like that to me? Like, why are you all over there? Like, come over here. Don't be comparing us to them niggas. She was like, come over here. So I went over there. I need, I need to. I need this one. All right, you know this one. I need this one. Hold on. Damn, she made me want some yeah. rice and beans and tacos and, and guac and salsa. So I went over there, y'all. Crawled over to where she was. And um, I think she was like in between my legs, like hovering over me, like laying down or whatever. So she had a little hair out and shit. And I was like, is this your real hair? Like, cause I remember seeing pictures of her on Instagram. And I didn't know if it was. Y'all, I'm, I'm gonna say something. And I ain't trying to be funny. I think Shorty got a thing with girls with hair. What her hair look like? Some, some, send me a, send me a picture. What Kiana hair look like? Cause I'm not gonna go look. I want you, cause y'all already know. I'll fuck around and find a wig, and they be like, oh shit, and I'll be like, nah, that's yeah, a wig. Send me a picture of her hair. I am gonna say what I was originally gonna say because, whatever. <laughs> I don't want them problems. It was weave or her real hair. She was like, nah, baby, this is my real hair. She was just so freaking fine. She was like, no, that's my real hair. Like, I know she has tattoos. Like, she was real tomboy. She wasn't like me. So it was just like, mm. She got a tight. Short. Hey. So she's like, no, that's me. I'm running my fingers to her hair like, oh, like, I'm like, your hair is so pretty. I thought it was weak because she had red, like, she had red in her real hair and, like, brown. It was, like, red streaks, but it looked like she added a track. Like, her hair was so pretty, it was, like, it was a weave. So I really thought she had, we started running my fingers to her hair. I'm like, okay, this Why people's hair got to be so pretty that y'all think it's a weave? Why us color folks can't have pretty hair and then not be a weave? There's so much yoga in this so, cup. Boom, we just start kissing y'all. We was kissing for so many hours. Mind you, I never really did anything stupid with a girl. I know I, I know she has because it was obvious, but I was scared to go third base. We were on second base. We were on second base, I'll tell y'all. What's second was like, base? What's first base? <laughs> What's fifth base? I mean, them home kisses run. was them kisses was it, honey. And I remember she was kissing on my neck. Y'all, I tell you, she gave me the biggest hickey. I wouldn't even want hickey now. I'm older now, so I look at that stuff a little bit different. I don't get hickeys either. But I gave her one. I gave her like three. She was lighter than me too, so it was showing. She gave me like the biggest hickey of all. When I tell you, I swear to God, y'all, my hickey was like this big on my neck. Like, it was so big. I'm just like, oh my God, I want to go third base on her so bad, but I am scared. What is third base? I'm so, we just kissing. We kissing. All night, like, look at me up here reminiscing. Not like that, not like that, but we kissed all night, y'all. When I say all night, we kissed all night. We were just flirting and just doing doing the damn thing. I remember that night I left, or whatever. I left, but I was on my way home. We was texting, you know, really flirting and stuff. And then it got to a point where I was like damn near living at this girl house. So point, but I remember I went over to her house and had a little spinning night egg. Y'all know the spinning night egg. And that's when I like, that's when we reached third base for the first time. When I say I was in there spending night at her house, I was in there spending night at her house because she lived like literally five minutes away from my job. I just stayed at her house. It's convenient for me too. Like, okay, I want this girl. I really like her. And she That's it, bro. When shit start to be convenient for you. Stay really close to my job. Why not? Y'all, my first is experience was interesting it really was different than now probably because she wasn't a stud so y'all so i don't want to say this without giving me my time dealing with her that was my first time ever trying dealing with her was my first time ever trying you know eating the cat or whatever eating the cat and it was a wonderful experience i didn't have a bad experience like oh her cat stick or anything like that it was actually you know she had that wop she had that wop i gave it to her you know what i'm saying i made <laughs> don't talk about this type of stuff but i feel like it's getting real spicy <laughs> so uh that's my first 
time I trying, you know, and she did, you know, she ate my, she ate my, she ate my, um, that was pretty cool too, but we didn't really do anything like, we didn't do anything like that, it was just, that's it, that was my first experience with a girl, she was my first, um, I was about to do it with another girl, but her thing stank so bad, so I was like, hey, I can't do this, you know, I'm cool, we just gonna wrap this up, literally, put your hands up, but she was like the only girl I, besides now, but we're not gonna talk about that, we're not gonna talk about now, okay, we're not gonna talk about Lil Miss thing right now, Ray, that's another story time, as of back then, she was the first girl, and it was, I didn't have a bad experience, you know, but my first time, like, dealing with her was kind of rough, like, dealing with a girl overall, it's definitely different than dealing with a guy, I'm gonna do a video, dating a girl versus dating a guy, just to give you guys my experience, like, dating the two, you know, it's definitely somewhat different depending on what girl you're dating, because some girls might make you not even think about a guy, you know, like they just do everything right. But with her, it was definitely different. It was also really weird, like we would have times where we don't talk at all, and she would just like have a problem with me or be mad at me or whatever. And I don't even recall us breaking up. That's why I say it didn't really feel, it didn't feel like it was official because we just stopped talking. Like it was weird, like she always had an attitude. Um, we were always like arguing in a sense, if that makes sense. Like it was just always something, like a lot of bickering going on. So it just got to a point where we just stopped talking. Like she would make statuses on Facebook and I would just be like, okay, so we must not be talking anymore because or dating anymore because of what you're saying on social media. So like, I don't wanna say my first experience was bad, but it wasn't as serious as my experience now with Ray. My experience now with Ray is definitely more serious. It's more different than the other girl. I feel like it's because we're older. Ray's actually given me an experience I never had before. I said I was gonna talk about that in this video, but I feel like I should save that for a whole nother video and possibly do that video with her. Give you guys like a few, Say it. To spill a little bit of tea about me and Ray, I just want to say me and her experience is definitely different than me and other girls' experience. I want to say that was my first experience, like just being with a girl. Y'all get what I'm saying? <laughs> being with a girl, but actually really dating and taking a girl serious. Ray is definitely like my first experience. So I want to say my first experience dating with dating a girl would be another story time. It's kind of hard to explain because. That girl that okay, so Ray is the first girl that she's been in a relationship. But as far as her getting down and going down, the other girl was her first experience. Bitch, this wasn't spicy. I talked to years ago was really my first experience. I'm a, like, literally, if they put another spicy word at the end of the day, I don't, I don't know. Every time Kiana J and Ray Soul Baby put spicy in their videos, it's never spicy. That must be they slang or they thing. Like, they be in the line at the restaurant. Oh, this gonna be spicy. You know what I'm saying? They walking down the, the Walmart aisle and they see, oh, that's gonna be spicy. Shit don't be spicy. Shit be real mild. Real tartar sauce like. Real tangy like the John Mustard. Is the job supposed to take you? No. Let's just say this experience is more serious than it was back then. Because, yeah, we were together for like days and days. We were practically living together at her mom's house. I just want to say that experience didn't really feel serious. Like, we were just, you know, having some fun. Having some fun, yeah. experiencing each other, texting all the time, flirting all the time, stuff like that, missing each other. That was like my first time. But overall, like, that's pretty much all I can remember. It's just weird how it went from us being on FaceTime every day, um, falling asleep on the phone, texting all the time, to it not being like that at all. I don't know what happened in between those times, Life. but it just it ended. And hey, it is what it is. But that's pretty much my first experience I had with a girl. I know a lot of you guys want to know, like, okay, how did I get into the whole girl thing? But that was that. I never really shared that story on my channel. Uh, I don't know why. Just I felt like. I don't know. I probably never shared it because I've been dealing with guys all the time. And I feel like, what was the point? I don't know, y'all. I just never shared it. Okay? I'm giving it a book. But anyways, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this McBain. This yeah, 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 whatever. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Talk about mukbang. I hope you enjoyed my mukbang. Okay, I had bacon yogurt. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Comment down below. Share, share, share. 
um i like watching other people explain their experience because it's nothing like my experience like i who raised me where was my parents like, my dad ain't here right now. Where were you guys? Because I was a little freaky here. <laughs> but being a little freaky, I was big freaky. Like, I'm blessed, though, because, like, for real, for real, my body count ain't a lot. It's really not. It's really not. Even before I decided that, you know what I'm saying? I'm into girls. And this is the thing, you guys. When I find a... I'll save that for a story time. Make sure that, again, you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Have a great day or a great night. Whatever time that you're over there watching this video, be blessed, stay clean. And I love and appreciate all of you guys. And I'm signing out to this video. Peace. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on, and I'm out this bitch. Just take a bow like my name Rihanna. Now she buying seven rings like I'm Ariana.